I walked by Stephanie Roberts, who brings us our star friend. But what they do is they do a naturally designed nonstick, which I've never heard of that in my whole life. It is a nonstick that doesn't use the chemicals or the coatings or anything else. It's a naturally um, constructed nonstick. It's all about the way the pan is treated. This mm -hmm. is called Starfrit the Rock, and this Rock Tech technology is unlike anything else that's out there, and you guys are loving it. It's a customer pick, tons mm -hmm. of five-star reviews, which I love. I love the fact that I can put five whole quarts of food in there as well, but this is what makes it different. This is the technology. It's called shot peening. They are literally hitting the pan with little pieces of metal, and what it's <laughs> doing is kind of dimpling the surface. So we've got that thick gauge aluminum on the bottom, which gives me that even heating, that quick heating. Wait till I show you what it's gonna do to a steak. But because of the fact that we've got that surface, you can see those little dimples right there, the actual surface is what makes the nonstick. There's little bitty air pockets thanks to that surface between your food and the pan. So rather than a spray treatment, rather than a chemical treatment, those little baby air pockets keep our food from sticking. Alice, rub your hand on this. Okay. You see how it kind of feels like an orange peel? Yeah. It's a rough surface. Now I love mm -hmm. it because of the nonstick. I love it because we can beat it up. Yeah. We can make all sorts of horrible noises on so it. So we can use our metal it. utensils. You can't destroy uh, it. That. No, my kids can cook with it. You know mm -hmm. how you have those pans that you have to baby? That is not the case here. But here's where I use it every single day. And no. this is literally what I had for dinner last night. A shepherd's pie. Five quarts, that is five how, pounds how good does that of look? meat. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. This is my kid's new favorite recipe. And I think I owe you a thank you for that because you were raving about this one of the first times we made that shepherd's pie. So I, I've got everybody I love eating a sh it. Shepherd's pie, but I, you know, shepherd's pie has to be deep, okay? It's got to be. Deep. Come over here and let me show you just the, the actual pan. This is a, this five quarts. So it's a Dutch oven that's five quarts. and. You're gonna have three color choices on it. This one is going to be the black one. This is your sand, and then we also have it in a gray color as well. These are beautiful, aren't they? Comes with your lid. Even the handles, beautifully designed on this. Price break today, $39.95. Three flex payments. I think this is a pan that you are going to use constantly, whether it's for your brownies, whether it's for a great cobbler, for your rolls, you name it, you will cook in it. And the depth of this is one of the things I love so, so much about it. And um, we just want to say hi to Donna, who's uh, online with us. Sherilyn Patty um, was also um, saying hi. I'm going to come over and try your little shepherd's okay, pie you while you're doing a little the bit shepherd's of pie. There is a fork right there Thank for you. You. But you mentioned the capacity. You mentioned the depth. It is great for one pot cooking, but here's the deal. Look at the gorgeous caramelization on this steak. Mm. So I'm using the pan to sear. I'm using the pan to cook my eggs because of the nonstick. Wait till you see how I'm going to be able to wipe it out and not use a bit, mm. ah, someone's sneaking bites, a bit of olive oil or butter. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. It's comfort food at its best. Mm. And it's for an army if you want it to be, but if you just want to use... Or a hungry Italian girl. Oh, that was work too. But if if it's just you and you're just searing a steak and sauteing some mm -hmm. asparagus, you can do that. I'm gonna scoot that yep. right under you. And here's the thing, when I make my sauce to go with it, when I reduce my wine, I just grab the first spoon I can find. Okay, so it's metal, no big deal. This is what I now grab for anything. So I don't have to worry about those little flecks and everything else exactly. from my nonstick, you know? Exactly. I mean, I don't really wanna eat speckled food. I don't wanna eat polka dot food. No, you, know? you don't, I don't even wanna, wanna think about it. things in my food. And you're not going to have to worry about it because of the way that this is constructed. You saw those little, maybe maybe just tuning in. I want to show you again how this is created because I think it's so clever. The way they dimpled the pan, that's what creates a, a natural non-stick because it's a rough surface on right. it. Right. It's called shot peening and mm -hmm. this pan has actually been pinged with little pieces of metal to give it a dimpled texture. Now what I love so much aside from the texture is that I have cooking options. So this this was designed for one pot cooking. A great recipe book is coming to you, and this pasta dish is one of the recipes. Do you notice how it is the exact perfect width for spaghetti? So that I don't have to break my pasta, I can just put it in there. Now, if I cook spaghetti in a stock pot,
lot. All my real estate is vertical. And it takes forever. And it takes forever. get that water to yep. boil. So I like the fact that here my real estate is horizontal. So I'm not just gonna cook my spaghetti, drain it, and then add all these ingredients. I'm gonna mm -hmm. throw it all in one pot. Now, as the water boils, the starch releases from the spaghetti. It thickens up what it's cooking with. And you can use pepperoni, chorizo. I've got mushrooms. I've got my basil. I've got wow. my tomatoes. I'll toss in some Parmesan at the I end. I tell you, that smells really good. I would and never have thought to put raw pasta in there, would all you? All in one. And it's in the recipe book. Okay. And it's dinner in eight minutes. And Patty uh, is saying great pot. And Cindy wants to know, how do you make shepherd's pie? Um, is the recipe in here? The recipe is not, but I will tell you there are many different varieties. What I like so much about doing it in this pot, I took the same pot, I sauteed the meat right there in the pot, I dumped in all the veggies in the sauce, I put on my potatoes and cheese as a topper, and I popped it in the oven because this pot mm -hmm. is oven safe. So the same pot that I'm doing my saute in, that I'm doing my veggies in, I can also then put in the oven. So it's just so much easier to cook when you're not having to do so many different types of pans and pots. The whole thing did it. That and same pot, I just made a reduction in. And how about cleaning it? Is it, is it easy to clean? Oh, I think you're gonna like this. We're not even gonna wash it before we do some eggs. Here's a damp towel. Remember, this pan has sauteed two steaks, some asparagus. I've done a wine reduction. I am 100% wiped out. Now, with now, should I hand wash it or do I? No, can I put it, put in, the it in the dishwasher. Hit it with oh. some metal spoons. Remember, this has been we hit. We have a bingo. This has been <laughs> hit by little metal pieces to be nonstick. You can do anything with it. But now let's do something a little more delicate. Okay. No oil. Okay. No butter. All right. No nonstick spray. Ooh. And in go my this eggs brave. onto a dry pan. Remember, I just took out a steak with some sticky wine in it. Yet we are still able to put our Look eggs. At, and what's the right diameter of this? It looks like about. 12. You know what it is? It's about 12 inches, and it's yeah. the exact length of a stick of spaghetti, which I think is the most <laughs> amazing thing ever. That you don't have to do anything different with your pasta. We mentioned the oven, and thank you for asking about how to make the shepherd's pie. We popped it into the oven to do that because it's oven safe. Mm -hmm. So that means when I'm making a chicken dish, I can sear off my chicken on the stovetop. Then I can put the veg with the chicken right into the oven and get a good brown on it. And then this recipe, by the way, is in the book. This is a honey mustard chicken. Amazing for comfort wow. food with the squash right on top. But remember, I did most of this cooking right there on the stovetop. I just wanted to get that good brown and get those potatoes soft in the oven. I love... Multifunctional. I love that you can take it right to the table, too, because it, it, it gives great. it that really cool, rustic feel and keeps that food nice and warm as well. And uh, let's see, um, Anne is on a line with us and she was asking why doesn't everything boil over? Well, and it probably would, but you know, I've got my liquid at the right amount, mm -hmm. but if you don't fill it too high, it's never gonna boil over. Do you see how I'm getting a good boil, a though? And you got a lot, you got a lot of space in there, five quarts. Five quarts spread horizontally, which I really, really love. Gosh, now, do smells, you see how it, quickly? That basil smells That so fresh good. basil, that pasta Ooh. is immediately softening up. You can smell the basil, the sauce and the flavors are melding together. Again, this is gonna be an amazing Italian dish that your grandma would be proud of in about eight minutes in one pot. This is how we get dinner done on a mm -hmm. Tuesday night. You know, when you have a great pan, everything else is easy. And you're, you're gonna right. be inspired. You're gonna do your shepherd's pie. You're gonna do a, a shrimp, you could do a shrimp. We're gonna do a sticky shrimp. shrimp. Uh, shrimp scampi in here Absolutely. with some linguine. But look at, the, look at the eggs. Here's what I want you to understand about this pan. Na it's a natural non-stick, right? Yeah, we did naturally, not. Naturally uh, dimpled. Uh, not naturally, they they, they hit it with they, the metal. They, they shot these peanut metals, is the word. and you are able to cook now healthier because you don't have to use the oil, you don't have to use the butter, so you can actually take the taste the egg. I can't believe that egg came out of there with nothing on it. It did, and remember, Crazy. we did that with no nonstick, huh. no butter, no nothing, <laughs> and look at how they're sliding off. I mean, this you mentioned that we could throw this pan in the dishwasher, no problem. You barely have to. I can't even believe it. Donna wants to know if you can come over 
over and make dinner for her. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, I would love to I because love you know what? This I, I the capacity, it. the spaghetti, the shepherd's pie, it doesn't matter how many people you're feeding, Donna, I got you covered. Okay, but Linda wants to know what is comfort food? Oh. Well, what? you're going to like it. <laughs> how would we describe comfort food? Comfort food is it's, that wonderful blend of spices and meats and starches that makes you feel like a big warm hug on a cold winter's day. Whether you're just doing a little bit, maybe it's just for you or whether you're doing the five pounds it's of shepherd's pot pie. Roast. It's like a pot roast. It, it's a yeah. stew. It's, it's those, those foods that are kind of hearty and rustic and just feel like uh, the family's gathering around and uh, everybody's going to get comfortable with it. It's what we need this in February. This is the technology that works here. $39.95 five quart Dutch oven. It comes with the lid. We have three colors. You'll also really like this. This recipe book has great, great little recipes. Absolutely. In it. it does, including this Italian dish. Again, mm -hmm. if you're just joining us, this has come Ooh. together in eight minutes time. We put the pasta in raw with the water. We've added our pepperoni, our tomatoes, our mushrooms, fresh basil. And now Alice is going to love this part. You can never go wrong with Parmesan. Oh God. We're going to sprinkle in the cheese. Watch yeah. it all melt together. This is a dinner pretty much everybody is going to be interested in. You can change the sausage or the veggies depending on what your family wants. Sure. And look, all in one pot. I didn't have to boil that pasta separately. It is here and ready to go. Oh, we lost a tomato. We lost a tomato. Oh, we got a runner. Uh, uh, you know what? No problem. Five second rule, put it in. <laughs> By the way, I also like this glass lid because I can keep a nice eye on how my progress is going. It just makes cooking easy. Mm -hmm. You don't need a lot of different pots and pans. You don't need a ton of fancy cookware. You need the right cookware. And to me, I have access to so many different pots and pans at yeah. my house. This is the one I go to every you know, single day because it does everything. I think a lot of our nonstick pans, typically we just have like a little eight inch or a 10 inch or something like to cook our eggs. When you have a nonstick pan, a natural nonstick, then you're gonna be able to use those metal utensils. You will find that you'd rather cook with that because it's so much easier to clean. Everything is gonna be easier to clean. The depth of this, it makes it just beautiful. I wanna say it's about a three inch depth, holds five quarts. I mean, that is a ton of food. But you know what? If you only want to make a little bit in it, then you make a little bit. You want to make two eggs in it, fine. Exactly you know? right. Use That's why I love to. it. You do not have to fill yeah. it up. Don't look at this and think, oh my gosh, I don't need to make five quarts of food. Right. I cook two eggs in it in the morning. I may cook six burgers in it in the evening. And then the next day, I'm going to bake a cake in it. You were yeah. talking about nonstick. I want you to do the test for me. Okay. This is cool. Put your hand under it. Okay. And put your hand over the rolls. Okay. And give it a tip. Right. Show me how those rolls release. Let's this has not been done yet. Let's see how we do. No spray, no butter. Now pull it up. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there it is. And so look, that look, is look all. Look at the finish on it. That is how around. those rolls release. Whether it's the brownies, mm -hmm. the cakes, you right end there. up with this amazing result. Please get the browning that you want, but you've got the nonstick that you need yeah, for every other day. Just wipe that out. You are good to go. All the things you're going to be able to create in it. It's just that perfect pot from Starfruit. You're, you're going to get some great recipes, too. Yes. Listen, um, we have something else. It's a new way to cook. One of the hottest things out there. And uh, Stephanie's going to share it with us coming up next.